Okay, so one quick question here. Uh, here we want to find the x and y intercepts of this graph. r equals 5 minus 4 cosine theta. And the idea is for these types of graphs, what they're going to turn out to be is what's called a limason. And if your a value is greater than your b value, so here our a value would be 5. Kind of forget about the negative. Your b value would be 4. Um, and if both of those are greater than 0, Okay, so a is 5, b is 4. It says then to get the x-intercepts, we simply add a plus b and we take the negative of it. And then, so that'll be one of our x-intercepts. And then we take a minus b, that'll be our other x-intercept. The y-intercepts are just negative a and positive a. If your b value is bigger than your a value, it's going to turn out that the x and y-intercepts also include 0. But we don't have that in this case. So simply, uh, we've got 5 is greater than 4 is greater than 0. This is our a value. This is our b value. Again, it says take negative of a plus b and then take a minus b. So a plus b would just be 5 plus 4, which would give us negative 9. That's going to be one of our x-intercepts. If we do a minus b, that'll be 5 minus 4 or positive 1, so that'll be our other x-intercept. And then it says the y-intercepts, we just take negative a and positive a. So the y-intercepts will be at negative 5 and at positive 5, and that's it. Now we're done. So we've got our x-intercepts over here, we've got our two y-intercepts here, and that's it. So again, uh, you'll see polar curves here and there uh, if you end up taking a calculus class, kind of sprinkled throughout the course. Um, uh, these are formulas that definitely I kind of forget. I am aware, in fact, that there are formulas out there. So, you know, when I do start doing polar stuff again, I say, oh, yeah, there's these formulas, and I dig out my pre-calculus book or my trigonometry book, and I look it up, and I say, oh, yeah, that was it. So, uh, you know, definitely stuff that's probably easy to forget, but at least be aware that they're out there, because sometimes graphing these polar curves can be a bit of a pain. So some of these little shortcuts will definitely make uh, make producing a good graph a lot easier.